Uh, welcome to LikeCummingFootball.com, and we're talking to head coach of uh, LikeCumming Warriors, Mike Clark. Uh, LikeCumming is in the week number seven, uh, five and one, five and zero oh in the MAC, playing Widener, who is six and zero, oh, and of course five and zero oh in the MAC. Uh, big game, maybe one of the biggest games we've had at uh, David Person Field in a long time. I would agree with that statement, John. I think that what you have are two really good football teams. Um, certainly on paper, the, the two best teams in the conference right now, uh, at least until this point uh, uh, in the season. Um, y- you know, it's uh, it's a great opportunity for our football team, and I, I know that you know they're excited about the opportunity as well. You have two five and zero MAC teams that are um, both. Uh, you know, both concerned with trying to leave here Saturday afternoon, still in first place in the conference, and only one team's going to be able to do it. It's a, a big uh, weekend. Uh, it's uh, like coming college's homecoming, and uh, the dedication of the uh, turf field, I guess, again, and the Frank Girardi bust, and uh, and uh, so it sh- it should be a real good game. Now, how how was uh, the team doing? By uh, you needed the the week off. Everyone pretty healthy. Yeah, I, I, we're thrilled with. Uh, you know, with where we are health-wise, um, you know, the off week is was a blessing for us. I mean, it was a, it allowed us to have, you know, get a week to, um, you know, to, to improve on, on some areas that we were concerned about, uh, and a week for you know everyone to to, to kind of continue to improve yet, uh, you know, get rested and get healed up, and you know, it's going to give us some guys, uh, you know, potentially to. To, it'll allow us to get a couple guys back who haven't maybe played significantly the last few weeks, um, but we were sort of maybe targeting the bye week, and uh, you know certainly this game as a part where, or as a point where we might get them back, and you know it, it looks like that'll happen. I know uh, D3 football has uh, Widener at I think number 14 in the nation. Uh, uh, you're not really looking at that. This is uh, just uh, do your job and get ready for the game for you guys. Yeah, John, those polls are nice, you know, but we've we've gotten votes, and uh, I, I think that if you asked either team, um, you, you know, would they rather be ranked right now or would they rather be ranked at the end of the year, um, both teams would agree that ultimately it will be better to be ranked um, at the end of the year when someone is the conference champion. Uh, give us a little brief uh, uh, what you see the pluses are for uh, Widener's offense and defense. Well, I mean, look, offensively, they're first in the country in scoring offense. They they get the ball in the end zone, um, which is really the, the main objective. They've got an outstanding quarterback, uh, clearly the best kid in our league. Um, you know, Anthony Davis is sort of the – I think the one guy that is is special for them at, at wide receiver. The rest of them are really good, but, but Anthony is a guy who, uh, you know, I think either he or Joey Miller at Lebanon Valley are the best wide receivers in the conference. I mean, those two kids are, are really good players. Um, and, but, but everyone else for them is, is a plus athlete as well, and they, and they, so they spread you out a little bit and, and they make you play um, – in space, right, and and you know when you take two really big guys and you, or, or a bunch of really good players, and and you know you put them on a surface that uh, is a hundred yards long by fifty three and a third yards wide, and you know people have to run it, it, to get to the ball. Um, it makes it tougher, right? So they they do a great job of utilizing their skill offensively. Um, you know, defensively, it's a pretty veteran group. Both their defensive ends are back, all their linebackers are back. Um, the one safety is back, you know, they, and they have some other guys in the secondary that played a year ago. So, you know, I think their, their, their experience is a key on both sides of the ball. They were a nine-win football team a year ago, um, and they return a lot of kids. Um, and, and if you're at any level, um, if you're great at quarterback, then you got a chance to be a great football team, and, and, and they certainly are. So, um, you know, I think that those are probably their biggest strengths is, is, you know, they're certainly talented and experienced, and that usually gives you the opportunity to be a good team. I heard you talking earlier in that week off, you try to keep things as pretty much as normal as you could. Is that uh, uh, that, that worked out and you've had a pretty good week of practice so far? Sure. Um, you know, John, look, I mean, last week was, was uh, in terms of the days we practiced and the times we practiced, we, we treated it 
like a normal game week. Um, you know how we structured practice might have been a little bit different, or what we did um, during that time frame may have been slightly different. But um, you know we practiced on the days we always practice um, last weekend, this week, and and that allowed us to get a little bit of time off um, and come back recharged. And you know, look, if you can't have a good week of practice this week, and I'm I'm sure they feel the same way. Like if if you can't be excited about this opportunity, then uh, then you're in it for all the wrong reasons. Yep. Um, come Saturday at uh, 5:30, mm -hmm. the game's going to be over. One team's going to walk away with uh, the win in first place. Uh, what is it going to take for that team to walk away with the win, or what is going to cause the loss? Um, you know, I think I think the team that makes the fewest number of mistakes, um, self-inflicted mistakes, will will have the best opportunity to win the football game. Um, they're very good, but, but we're pretty good too. Um, they're really athletic, and, and, and we feel we're very athletic. Um, you know, offensively, we have two, two different styles, but um, I think both of us are, are very, very talented. Um, you know, wh whoever wins the game will we'll probably do the least amount to lose the game as crazy as that sounds you know like mm -hmm. you just you just got to execute they're not going to drastically change what they do we're not going to drastically change what we do we know their tendencies they know our tendencies we've each had two weeks off um but i think the team that you know turns it over the least right um the, the team that that again because they're going to make us make mistakes and we're going to make them make mistakes right so but if, if we make too many mistakes on our own or they make too many mistakes on their own, ultimately those, I think, will be the difference in the football game. Uh, you just can't get uh, better than this on a Saturday in Williamsport, can you? Now, nah, John, look, this is, I think, historically who who both of our football programs have been. I mean, you go back to Bill Manlove at Widener and you go back to Coach Girardi here from the early 70s on, and, and what you're talking about are – two teams that have won a lot of championships. We've won 14 in that time frame, and I don't, I don't think they've won 14, but they're certainly double digits. Um, our, our conference is always better, um, and this is a Lycoming opinion and probably a Widener one too, but I, I, would, I think we would both argue that our conference is always at its best when we're two of the best teams in the league, um, and, and that's the case this year. You know, Who knows who the best team is yet? We won't know that for a month. Um, but but I do know that both of us are in, in the conversation uh, right now as being the best teams, uh, some of the best teams in the league, and, and I think that that's great for our conference and certainly very good for both of our programs. Well, it's going to be fun to watch. I know both teams have the character it takes, even if they're down, to come back and, and uh, pull out a win. So uh, even in the fourth quarter, you just – have to keep your nose to the grindstone this is one of those games you have to play 60 minutes yep and, and look if it takes longer we'll play longer i hope it's not quite 5 30 like you say i mean i hope by 4 30 we know but we'll play as long as we need to um y y you know to uh to to settle it i know that yep okay well good luck thanks for talking to yeah, us thanks a lot john i appreciate yep. it yep okay. this is a production of lycomingfootball.com your 2012 Warriors Connection.